live now to discuss some of this. So, Minister, thank you for your time. First of all, why did you choose this location to visit the Joint Operations Centre? Well, it's a, it's a tour that we have taken as the police management and ministry to all provinces. This is the last province but one. But exactly why we came here... Uh, we have received several problems and complaints about this township called Mbalen, which is supposed to be a beautiful flower, but they don't behave that way. Last week, we had a big operation here, led by the provincial commissioner and the MEC, where people were found uh, to be on the, on the road having uh, street bashes, uh, still drinking alcohol, and doing all sorts of things that were not supposed. So we are here just to enhance that to say it's correct to listen to the law, it's correct to follow the regulation as they've put there. When we need to go out, there must be a serious reason why I go out, like going for shop, going for medication, going for doctors, such, such things. So if not so, we need to stay in the house. So we're saying to the police, as they are here, with all other law enforcers, they must make sure that those people, they do stay in if they have no business to be outside. But it tells us the story that is not so, because in Pumalang as a whole, we have 1,295 people arrested, which is a part of 17,000 that have been arrested in the country since this thing happened. So that's, that, that, that's, that's why we are here. And the, the, the call we are making is on the communities. That is no use to blame the police when yourself you are not doing something that is correct. If anything happens, we still have an opportunity here to prevent this thing. We still have an opportunity to minimize the sick people, the dead, the dead people. But beyond this, we might have a desperate situation, as we have heard that this uh, last 24 hours in, in Spain, 800 people died. So those are the things that we must work together to avoid. And make sense. So there's more than 1,200 people arrested uh, in this area, many of them for not abiding by the regulations. Minister, your police have faced some criticism from members of the public for the way that they've enforced these regulations. You've told them to keep holding the line, push the South Africans to their houses if they refuse to go, but what is your overall opinion of the way the police have acted? Well, the law enforcers, for me, they've been excellent. They were working under trying, remember, they're human beings working under trying conditions themselves. And they, sometimes you find that they are pushed by the people that are supposed to be supporting them. We have made uh, the call on the partnership on this one. It will be our first prize that we arrest nobody because your conscience tells you what you're supposed to do. They don't know what to do, but they choose to do otherwise. Police, I think, have done a good job up to this point. Police, I think, they need to support police and the soldiers. Yes, there is a law. Fortunately, we have mechanisms that they oversee our police. I paid almost men with the soldiers. They'll do that. But people that should make the police work better are the communities. The consequences are dire if we don't work together. On this. Of course, there have been a number of cases reported against the police, but the, the matter of the public being humiliated has come up uh, a one time or another. What, what do you think of the police frog-marching people and telling them to roll through the streets until they get to their homes? Will you be telling them to stop that? It's exactly what I'm saying, that we have the structures that oversee that. It's exactly what I'm saying, that the police must work uh, within the law, there is a law in South Africa, but the communities themselves, I don't know why you should be frog march instead of walking to the police. Why you should be frog march when you're supposed to be in the house. If you stay in the house, you behave, you do what you, nobody will frog march you. Minister, you've arrested 17,000 people across the country. Where are you keeping these people that have been arrested and what's the risk like of them contracting COVID-19 while being under arrest? Well, the people who are arrested, they still with, fall within the procedures. For instance,